Hello and welcome. Dr. Rohit here. This is an MRI of a patient who came to me with severe right lower limb radicular pain with back pain since 3 years, more since 1 year. The MRI shows a prolapse intervertebral disc L4-5 with an evident annular tear. Sagittal sections show a significant stenosis of a region called as the lateral recess and foramen. Axial sections confirm the same. Due to chronic nature of the pain, she was advised surgery by many. I offered her with an intradiscal plus transforaminal root block injection. The radicular pain is usually due to direct pressure from the extruded disc fragment coming out from the annular tear or leaking fluid from the complete annular tear. The back pain is usually discogenic due to nuclear fragment extruding out and preventing healing of the annulus. The foramen is just behind and to the side of the disc. As you can see here, a slightly bulbous dorsal root ganglion which is a part of the nerve root lies in the foramen and is extremely sensitive and gets swollen and irritated by a protruding disc pushing it onto the often hypertrophic facet joint. Steroid injection mixed with local anesthetic solution is injected near the swollen and tender nerve root in the foramen. Then the needle is passed within the disc and steroid injection is given within as well. This changes the local chemical composition and reduces swelling of inflamed edges of the annular tear. This can often cure radicular pain and improve the back pain significantly. However, in some patients this may work temporarily and in others it may not give lasting benefit. But it is not highly invasive and is worth a try before embarking on surgery. Under local anesthesia, a needle is passed within the foramen under x-ray control as shown here. Then after half of the steroid injection is given here, the needle is pushed deeper in in the same trajectory to reach within the disc where a remaining solution is injected. If the annulus is intact, one cannot put even a single ml of fluid within it. But a deficient annulus allows significant leakage. This can enable the surgeon to assess the integrity of the annulus. Sometimes a radio contrast dye can be used to visualize the disc and is called as discography. This can be followed by a CT scan to visualize the annular tear which cannot be visualized even on MRI sometimes. This patient had almost complete relief of pain immediate post injection. Follow up is important as reappearance of pain after a few weeks to as much as a few months is not impossible and possibility of the same should be counseled before. However, given extremely minimally invasive nature, the injection is not a bad option in less severe cases with no neurodeficit. Even if there is a recurrence of radicular pain, this patient can be treated with spine endoscopy in an ultra minimally invasive manner and does not need open surgery. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.